Hello! I'm so glad you're here. We're going to go right up and make our Yankee pie right now. You can help and you're going to love the whole adventure. cups of flour, that's the last third of a cup, and it should just be regular old all-purpose flour, and then some sugar, I'm usually a little generous with the sugar, a teaspoon of salt, I think it's a teaspoon, something like that, yeah, and then let's see what else do we have, oh, butter, most of an ingredient. Take two cubes of butter right out of the ice box. So I'm cutting them in half and then I'm cutting them in half again. So you see that's like oh so it's like a one half inch strip and then we'll cut them into little cubes so that will be a half inch. And it's important that they're not smaller because smaller help melt rather than make um, layers in the pastry. And dump it in and dust it around so that they stay separate, all the little cubes from each other. And once it's all dusted, then look at this is the really fun part. This is where everybody can help if they want. Because <laughs> you just take a take a, a little cube and go squish make a place where they go squish no more squishing than just one squish <coughs> this is really cold butter <coughs> you don't want them to stay in the cubes but just flatten them out like that there we go now it's all mixed in there together now it's time for the cold water right a half a cup of cold water. Evenly around. I'm going to try to get it all, the flour moistened here with that cold water. Wait, this is what I use. I just have canvas that I zigzag the edges of so that they don't. And see, this has been used just the other day. looks kind of shaggy. I'm going to just take this, cut it in two, and then just make sure it's always dusted. Then you just take this and take this, make, make it close it up, kind of like a book. Flip it over, try to make it kind of round again, and then it, it really behaves nicely. And we'll just roll it back out one more time. We're not making a puff pastry here, we're just giving it a little flakiness. And then we'll roll it one more time here. And that's going to be either the top or the bottom of the pie. Now, one more time for this guy. This is how they kind of proof. So that'll stay in there till we're ready to come back and roll out the pastry and make the filling. Oh, it's a beautiful 
Sitting out. <laughs> Sitting out. <laughs> Peeling apples. <laughs> okay, so it'll take me a minute to do my first apple. Here we go. And I always have a fun game to see if I can keep the skin all the way. Oh, I've already messed up. All the way to the end. Yeah, it's hard to do. And then I give all the skin. Oh, I no, didn't. Yeah. I messed up. <laughs> Normally I do, but this might be an apple that doesn't have very rubbery skin. Then I give all the skins and the cores to the chickens for breakfast whilst mm. we're having apple pie. <laughs> so we get the best of it, but they don't know. Or we could give these to the fish. Like Great. <laughs> stage of making a Yankee apple pie. Now the thing about a Yankee apple pie is it's mostly apples but it's also whatever fruit other fruits or things we find around that we want to add to it. So it's a mixture of apples and mangoes and then whenever I eat an orange I save the rind and cut it up and just boil it a few times and drain it and then add sugar and boil it. And, um, and then I add it into all kinds of desserts. So I just chop them up. And they're not fancily made, you know, not the fancy ones with the chocolate on the ends and so forth. They're just um, limes, lemons, any citrus, but usually it's orange. I chop them up really fine and they make a really nice taste in the apple pie. And nothing's measured. Apples in this pie, I did um, I did five apples and I did one and a half mangoes. I'll put some kind of jam. This one's cherry jam. Um, in in here, it adds a little rosiness to it, and I I love the taste of um, cherry, but it can be raspberry. Oh. Then there's a very important ingredient that is very rare and difficult to get. You have to either have a friend or you have to have an airplane because you can go to Copenhagen in Denmark, which is where Frederick is from, and you can get this amazing tea. It's called Dragon Mint. Let's see, Frederick, what's the name of the shop? Østerlandsk Tea House. Herbal with tea peppermint, with peppermint. Uh, licorice root. Licorice root. Uh, citrus cyst. Uh, red, red peppercorn. peppercorn cardamom, cardamom. Chili. Chili. And, and ginger. Ginger. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so, but this is the funny part. We call this the sneezing tea. Because. <laughs> 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 when you shake it up, <laughs> smell it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit strong. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> it it smells good. It smells oh. good. <laughs> no, it smells oh. good. <laughs> That's so strong. Cutting tea? Yes. <laughs> Cutting tea. <laughs> Cutting our tea. <laughs> Sugar and um, flour. 
Do you know why you put flour in an apple pie? No, why? Because if you don't, the liquid, when it, when it, could, it doesn't get thick, the liquid of the apples, no. it's very runny and then it's not as, um, it's just not as, I don't know, there's something about the flour that makes it <laughs> richer tasting. And again, nothing is measured, um, which is a little hard for helping people know, you know, what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> you can just have in your own imagination, and, and then over here is the sugar. with that dragon mint in there. <laughs> okay. And now the pastry that we made earlier mm -hmm. and wrapped in a towel, a moist towel to keep it moist. Okay, now we need a pie tin. So you see, it's very easy to handle. It's not scary at all. Just Lay it in there and then try to push everything down so it fits the shape. Okay, now we put the fruit. Oh, I see. I see little bits of the herbs from the dragon. There's one last thing that has to go in the apple pie before we put the top uh, pastry on it. Can anybody guess what? Um, no. Starts with a B. Butter. Butter. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maybe one more. Okay. How's that? And now we set it. Aside, normally I'd put it in the ice box, but my ice box is kind of full, so I'm just going to roll out the other little piece here. This is um, a mold I have for making the, the lattice on the top. I also like hand-woven lattice, but it's really fun. I love this um, very fancy, frilly lattice. So this goes on there like that. It says top. Just take this. Lay it on and roll. Till all the little cavities have been well pressed. And then, this is the fun part. You take this little thing that says top on it. There used to be one on the other side, but it broke off. I hope this doesn't break this time. This is my, <laughs> this may be my last. Mm -hmm. No, it's working, it's coming off. See, and what's coming with it is the crust. And flip it on, just take this and roll it around to kind of get it nestled together, nested together, and it looks like that. That's beautiful. Okay, so, ready for breakfast? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Can we start now? Okay. <laughs> now it really is bedtime, boys. Lights out. We have a curfew here. <laughs> 2 a.m. <laughs> I, I love New York. You're gonna love New York. Yeah. Uh, Who don't love the city? <laughs>